Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ross from Yerva, back again with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So today we're going to Eterna City. That is the agenda for today. So let's get right into it. Um, before we do any of that, we are going to do a quick team recap real fast. So we have Neptune, the Primp Up, level 18. Hawks, the Staravia, level 15. Luxio, the Luxio, level 16. We messed that, that nickname up. And Thor, level 14, the Machop. Here we go. So, <clears throat> here's our first trainer battle. How about a quick battle before I leave for Eternal Forest? We're trying to get there too, man. Here we go. They've got one Pokemon, Camper Jacob, and it is a Ponyta. That's what we need for the team. We need a fire type. And Sinnoh is um, extremely lacking in fire types. But I had to pick uh, Piplup. There was no way I was going to go with any other of the starters. Use Water Gun again. If you guys have noticed, we started doing TikToks, uh, Reels, and Shorts. Um, I've been posting one a day on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I hope you guys are enjoying them. I'm really enjoying making them. Um, I think they're pretty fun to do. Um, but yeah, no, go check those out. Um, one a day on all my platforms. Thor grew to level 15. There we go, we got 504. We're gonna have to go around. Let's see what this is real fast. Found an X attack, okay. And then we're about to go against a hiker, if I had to guess. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Haha, <laughs> here goes. If you guys haven't checked out the podcast yet, I think tomorrow is probably going to be our best episode yet. We have a guest on tomorrow, and I, I really think you guys would enjoy it. Um, I'm going to put that below. I, you should go check it out. I, I may be biased, but it might be the greatest podcast of all time. At least of our generation. The Elysium Podcast, link below. Um, Hiker Daniel is about to send out Machop. Um, will you switch Pokemon? Um, um, we're gonna leave in Neptune. We'll use a Peck. Which is super effective. Maybe a one hit, is it? Nope, not even, not close. Oh. Revenge can be scary, man. I, I'm always scared it's gonna like one shot me. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the Nuzlocke from Friday, go ahead and go watch that, because uh, it messes with your heart. It messes with your heart. I'm still kind of recovering from it, if I'm being honest. Um, we're going to use Metal Claw. Defense Curl. Okay. And water gun. Boom. Geodude fainted, it was super effective. <sighs> Since on my back, start to stretch. Neptune is wants to learn bubble beam, it's level 19 now. Yes, we're gonna forget an old move. Um so Bubble Beam has a power of 65 and an accuracy of 100. And we're, so we're gonna get rid of Water Gun. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Bubble Beam should be before Water Gun. Like Water Gun sounds like it should be stronger than Bubble Beam. Because it's like, like a stream of water versus just bubbles. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Hiker Daniel is about to send up a doof when you switch Pokemon. Yeah, we'll switch Pokemon. I want to get a Luxio in there. Hiker Daniel sent out the doof. Okay. And if you guys did see the TikToks from a few days ago, we um 
we did like a challenge where we would throw like a pin into like a G Fuel tub, and I was deciding who we were gonna shiny hunt um, out of the three starters. And I believe we were shiny hunting Piplup. It it was either Piplup or Chimchar. I could be wrong. I'll have to I'll have to go watch it. But um, look out for that because that will be I will either be streaming that or. I'll probably just be streaming that, honestly. I might start that soon, but um, we'll look into that soon. An another hiker. Let's see what this is. It's a Bidoof. Ah. Hmm, we'll use Bubble Bean. We'll take out a Bidoof real fast. See, watch, looking at it like that, yeah, it makes sense that Bubble Beams, it looks more powerful, but like, just the name, name-wise, it's like, I don't know, it doesn't sound like it should be as powerful as Water Gun. Like, Bubbles versus a gun? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Let me know what you guys think. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Oh, okay, so your name's Ross. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Ross, may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there will be there will be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? Yeah. They didn't even give us a chance. They were like, I mean, we would have said yeah, but I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Well, thank you. Oh, we got to have a double? Is that a trainer? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it is. Okay. What's what's cool you might ask? No, I'll tell you anyway. Bug Pokemon. Unless I have a flying type move. And then you're kinda screwed, brother. She has three and she has one. Okay, Pachirisu. is one of my like the like the Pikachu clones in each um how they have like Pikachu clones in each generation, like you know, like <clears throat> I'm trying to think of an example of one. So like the Pikachu clones from like black and white, they have Emolga, and then they have like Morpeko, and then um, Togedemaru, is that? Yeah, so like Plusle, Minum, Togedemaru, Dedene, all them, like, I don't know, I really like Emolga, but I think design-wise my favorite would probably be Pachirisu. <clears throat> there we go, Morple is out of here. Oh, good damage. Critical hit. Since how beautiful I. You smart. Ah, I wish it would go for the other one because he's super effective against us, but if I leave out Neptune for the bug Pokemon, we're fine. Come on. <laughs> Let's see how much this does. Oh, it's... I don't know why I was thinking it was gonna do. Never mind. Uh, come on, hurt yourself in confusion. <sighs> Didn't attack us that time. Wow. The one time it's like something, like a status move, they use it on the other one and not us. But like, anytime they're going for like damage, they go for us. Okay, so Luxio and Thor leveled up. Let's go. Thor wants to learn the move knockoff. Um, forget an old move. So knockoff is power 65. The user slaps down the target's hidden item, and that item can't be used in that battle. The move does more damage at the target has a held item. Hmm. We'll uh, give it a low sweep. I'm going for 14 minutes. We learn knockoff. <laughs> Chansey's, Chansey's putting in the work. <laughs> She's trying. She's trying. Um. Oh. Are you like that's exactly what I was just saying. 
Every time it goes for it. And we're paralyzed. Yeah, I think we missed our attack that time. Oh, okay, so we did get to use it, thank god. Um, we'll switch out this round. Oh my gosh. You know what, we haven't used Thor much. We'll send in Thor. I'm just thinking of, like what our team's gonna look like in the end. If we have like a Machamp and an Empoleon on the same team, oh, those two are so bad. Another paralysis. Chansey's kind of putting in the work though. <laughs> she's trying, she's trying. Use revenge. The one time. There you go. Good job, Machop. Hawks is level 17, Neptune is level 20 now. Let's go. We defeated both of them. Um, I wonder, is she gonna heal us now? Because she said she'd keep our Pokemon in perfect health. So I wonder if she's gonna heal. Hopefully she does. It's starting to see two wild Pokemon appear at the same time. Um, Okay, yeah, yeah, she, they're already healed. I was thinking we were gonna turn around and she was gonna be like, um, oh, do you want your Pokemon healed? But instead she's like, it's just startling to see two Pokemon at the same time. Do we think that they're gonna have bug Pokemon as well? I bet so. When a trainer and Pokemon bond is one, a, a wondrous power is born. I see, I see it. I see you going down in defeat. Imagine like in the real world, like, or like if you have, oh, yo, why are they doing that? Okay, so they got Abras. <clears throat> Imagine like if you lived in the Pokemon world and you're like just trying to walk to the Pokemon Center or like just go somewhere and you just want a chill day and then someone's like, I will defeat you. And you're like, hey, yo, and like you can't do anything about it. You have to battle them. <laughs> like, I don't know. Critical hit. Two crits. See you later. Thor grew to level 17. Let's go. We've been leveling up quite a bit in this episode. I think Thor's leveled up like three times just this one episode. But yeah, no, you're like, or like if you're walking to school and like a trainer happens to see you, they like cross their line, like their eye path. They're just like, stop, we must battle. I think Smosh did a video about that. We defeated Psychic Elijah and I didn't catch the other one's name. Hmm. So I guess they wouldn't have bug Pokemon if they're psychics. That would make sense. Um, I wonder what's back here. What is this? A wormhole? I would run from these, but we're getting pretty good. Um, like experience from it. This episode will probably just be making our way to Eternity City just because it's been 22 minutes and we only, we haven't even made it there yet. So it'd be like a 40, almost an hour long episode if we did everything we needed to in Eternity. Worry Seed. Neptune got insomnia. 
There we go. Super effective, but it was We also, um, earlier I was talking about the uh, Elysian podcast. We filmed it with our friend Zeke. It was a lot of fun, and he ended up actually staying on uh, after we finished. We got a jar of honey. Um, this is what they, the Team Galactic was, look, Team Galactic was looking for earlier. Um, oh, wait, she's... Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Ross. Um, but no, yeah, Zeke stayed on afterwards and did the uh, Canada Uncut podcast with us as well. So if you guys are interested in that, that will be out um, in, t in 2022. That is actually going to be the very first episode. So the Wednesday after New Year's, that, uh, that episode will be out. We finally made it to Eterna City. And Team Galactic is standing around the Pokemon Center. Wait, I... My Pokemon already healed. How'd I go in here? I'm so confused. Oh, there's Cynthia. Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Hmm. Oh. Okay, hello Ross. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it, like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these. They should help you on your way. We got TM39. TM93s. <laughs> um, we put the TM in our TM's pocket. Um, Cut is a hidden move uh, that allows you to chop down small trees that are blocking your way. Remember, you can use the hidden move cut from your Pokedex in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then, luck be with you, young trainer. Well, thank you. Oh, here it is. There's some writing on the Pokemon statue. Dia once created brought time into being and laughter or in tears the same time flows such is the blessing of dia the text is barely legible and is faded uh, completely in places dialga the okay so the next thing we need to do here is the gym it is guard gardenia um and our team hmm <laughs> so we do have hawks who has His move. He has one flying move, and then of course, Piplup or Primplup has a flying move as well. But Primplup is weak against Grass type, so that's going to be rough to have him in. So realistically, our best bet right here is to try to get at least. Oh, I don't know if we can get. I don't know where we would get a Pony Top, but that would help us a lot. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Next week, or not next week, this Wednesday, we will be facing um, Gardenia in Eternal City. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.